Hello, my name is Kelly Antone, PLC Training Instructor with PCC. In this lesson, I am going to connect the Siemens Basic Panel HMI to the PLC. In the project tree, I am going to select Add New Device. Then I will select the HMI category, and I will select Somatic Basic Panel. I'm going to pick a 7-inch basic panel. So I will pick the Profinet version of the panel, which you can see in the description here, and then I will select OK. This will add the basic panel into the project. Then I will scroll the screen so that you can see the entire screen in the work area. Next I will scroll up and I will select the PLC tags area. So I will pick my default tag table and then I will select the clock byte tag and drag that onto the screen. This will actually create the HMI connection between the PLC and the HMI. I will also put an alarm view object on the screen. This can be used to display the status of the HMI connection to the PLC. I will select the properties for the alarm view and I will select an alarm buffer so that I can view the system messages. Next, I will select a system diagnostics view and put that on the screen. This will be a window into the PLC, so we will be able to actually see the diagnostic buffer of the PLC on the HMI. The I.O. field was assigned the clock byte from the drag and drop earlier. Now I will select Devices and Networks, and that will open up the Network View tab. Clicking this icon will show the IP addresses of the devices, but you can see that the HMI is now connected to the PLC. So I will close the Network View, and I will scroll down to the HMI and then select the connections area. The connection was filled in via the drag and drop as well, so it fills in the appropriate IP addresses. The S7 online is going to be the logical access point for the HMI to talk to the PLC in the simulation mode. So what I'm going to do is start the Windows control panel, and then I'm going to open up the set PGPC interface, and then I have to select the window that's down in the taskbar and make sure that the S7 online access point is pointing to the physical adapter connected to the PLC. So I want to make sure that I pick the TCP IP connection. I will just hit cancel because it was already set. So I will close the Windows control panel. Now I will scroll up and I will highlight the HMI and I will start the simulation by pressing the start simulation button. This will compile the HMI project and start the runtime. When the compilation is complete and there are no errors, the runtime will be started. So now you can see that the clock byte is cycling in the I.O. field, and in the alarm view, the connection is established with the HMI. The system diagnostic view is also a window into the diagnostic buffer, so I can see all the diagnostic buffer messages from the PLC. So I can select a message and then I can drill in and view the detailed information about the errors that have occurred. I will close out the simulation of the HMI, save my project, and this concludes the lesson on connecting the Siemens HMI to the PLC.